All right, so good day, ladies and gentlemen. We have an extremely important update for you guys with Coinbase IPOing today and the Berlin Hard Fork uh, very soon here. Uh, we brought Mess along with us to uh, break down some extremely important technical analysis uh, because Ethereum is in a very critical zone right now. So what's up, man? How's it going, man? I think so. I think the biggest thing right now, we're seeing a lot of optimism, you know, no pun intended with Ethereum right now. The past couple of, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's very funny, but the past couple of uh, weeks here and uh, overall, the main question we've been having recently is whether Ethereum is going to break out of this uh, major, this macro pattern we had over here, this channel. And it looks like it is trying to mimic those previous movements we had back in uh, February at the beginning of the year where we saw a massive upward movement for Ethereum. So pretty exciting now seeing what's happening. We did break out yesterday and now it uh, looks like we're retracing to push back up. Yes, um, you brought up a good point before where if you take the height of what happened after we broke out of the channel previously and move it to where we are right now, um, that coincides uh, pretty well with what we've been saying which is we could reach uh twenty six hundred dollars so we can see last time we broke above right our channel here and we just uh move this to the breakout point again that brings us right around twenty six hundred dollars uh my price target for this wedge that we were in we take the height of our wedge here actually why don't we just do it height of our wedge here and if we just roughly around there and if we just move her to the breakout point Again, that takes us $26. Like magic. Like magic. We also have a Fibonacci extension level, the, the 1.618 uh, from this macro bottom, this top the retracement. Uh, so we have a confluence of reasons here saying that we could go to $2,600. So um, what you want to describe like some of the most uh, important support and resistance levels here, like maybe these EMAs or... Yeah, no, hundred percent. So for the longest time here, it looks like even if we zoom in, maybe to the to the four hour, just to go and show exactly, just zoom in to the price action. Um, overall, we can tell here uh, for the longest time the uh, twenty one EMA on the um, uh, four hour and the uh, sorry the twenty one EMA on the ten hour and the two hundred EMA on the uh, four hour here has been. Uh, the most uh, reactive uh, uh, EMAs that we've been having and overall right now I mean just to give a bit of a short-term uh, picture of where we think Ethereum can actually head to if we zoom in a bit here we see a bit of trading activity happening a bit of trading volume happening ar along this uh, price range here somewhere between the 2000 to uh, uh, 300 all the way down to the 2000 uh, I would say 280 to th 270 and overall you know this is what we just retraced back to I I think uh, uh, from a main uh, breakout perspective, we just broke out of this. If we're trying to mimic the same action we had over here, you see a lot of retesting to those uh, bottom levels overall. So I think the main thing right now, the first stop we can actually get to is this one. So 2,280. And then that's where we can actually um, uh, most likely have this EMA come and start to meet us somewhere around here where it will add to that uh, support. So we definitely do have a lot of cushion. But Ethereum will most likely right now retrace, which we're, which is what we're seeing. Retrace, try to find that support again, see if buyers actually do step in. And then we'll see the actual um, uptrend, the upward movement towards the 2600. Yeah, look, you know, we could retrace here, but no matter what way you slice this, Ethereum looks insanely bullish. I mean, we're, we're insanely bullish. We're making macro lower, uh, higher highs and higher lows everywhere you look. Uh, we broke above this channel, uh, broke above this wedge. I mean, this right here looks like a bull flag for those who don't know. Uh, what a bull flag is, is essentially uh, we have an impulse to the upside and then a downtrending channel. And then if we break above the channel, we essentially could move uh, the length of the initial impulse, which um, if we zoom out a bit, you here, guessed it again, around twenty six hundred dollars. <laughs> so like everywhere you look, it's extremely bullish. And um, if we could actually take a second here to uh talk about um the berlin hard fork so just to kind of really simplify things here there's a bunch of eips with the berlin hard fork theme improvement proposals but essentially it uh, aims to change some uh features with uh with gas fees with ethereum and hopefully uh make some of the gas fees cheaper um so if we can go to these uh articles here uh we can see how the berlin hard fork is planned uh to release on block i believe there we go uh this block right here which should land us around april 15th and if we go to the current block uh you can see that this is actually what the current block is here so april 15th berlin hard fork 
uh, very bullish catalyst for Ethereum. Yeah, and I think that's where we're seeing a lot of buyers step in right now. And we're looks like overall we're breaking resistances, we're breaking macro resistances, we're finding support. Buyers are in. There's a lot of optimism in the market. It's you can see the interest play out. And just Ethereum, I think right now is just moving textbook uh, wise. It's just uh, we're just keep breaking those resistances. We just need to make sure we find the support right here on the bottom, uh, somewhere close to these ranges over here. And I think the biggest um, support that we'll find on a short term is definitely this um, EMA. But overall, Ethereum can easily retrace back down to this level, I would say, right? And uh, find that support again so we just need to see how that plays out to the end of the day or the next couple of days here leading up to the um uh, release and uh, leading up to that movement towards the 2600 yeah 100 there's a bunch of support below us from price action to volume to uh fib levels to emas ultimately if we just take a second here to hover here on the short term i think the thing we need to look at and understand to understand if we have more downside is like you were saying earlier kind of that 1280 uh or sorry 2280 or 2290 uh nice spike in volume here and it's a pretty price reactive zone so if we start to break down below this level here we're probably going to retest one of these support levels whether it's channel line or ema price action volume a fib level but tons and tons of support below us and a bullish catalyst ahead of us um you know tomorrow with brown hard fork and coinbase listing I mean, Ethereum looks stupid bullish. Definitely. 100%. Yeah. I think that's pretty much it for us. I don't know if you want to add anything more. Um, I'll just shill real quick here, token metrics. So folks, uh, for those who don't know, token metrics is an AI fueled price predictions and portfolio suggestions platform that we use to help inform some of our thought process and our research. We can see here that these are the top coins token metrics thinks uh, for uh, investing on a year long horizon. Now this often refreshes. So if you want access um, to these kinds of, you know, AI modeling and they do very helpful code reviews that I like to read, uh, check out token metrics link for everything's down in the, in the description below. You get a uh, 10% off if you use our code. And I believe they're gonna be raising their prices soon because they've been increasing some of the functionality uh, with their program. So make sure you sign up and get grandfathered in at the cheaper prices. Um, as well, I'll shill our Patreon since we're at it. Folks, if you like what we do, you want to support us, join our Patreon to get access to our VIP Discord, where we talk about low-cap gems, interesting setups, and very helpful resources. All right, that's it for me. Uh, I don't know if you got any last words. You heard it. Thank you guys for watching. Take care.